Okay, good afternoon. Um, I'm just having a quick look today at uh, presets. Um, I have to start with a blank one, a default one, um, and where to go from there, really. Uh, it's going to be probably not enough time to do much today, um, but I'm going to have a look initially uh, at the presets. So I'm going to click on, the, there's two ways to do it. You can press preset here, uh, and that'll give you a view of the preset. And you can also go to preset over there, uh, but that will only get to the number after you've chosen it here to edit it. So we're starting here, go to preset, uh, and on all the, uh, let me just change the cursor up to where it says user there. If I go to MP7, this is the MP7, so um, if you've got the MP7 or the XROM, which I've also got installed in here, or the prom one uh, the, the user default is in the same place uh, so I'll skip cursor down to the number there uh, and I want uh, number one two seven it's my uh, wheel skips uh, so I eventually I have cleaned it but it does need a new one uh, we're going all the way up to 120 some, something if I can get there one, one two six one two seven but I need see that where it says one two seven one so I need a uh, preset number one two seven on bank three so I'm going to skip that along to underneath the one two three and there it is default one and this is the same uh, number for the mp7 for the xrom uh, where is it now go back I've, I've gone right back to the zero again uh, so let's skip through again. Um, one, two, seven. One, two, seven. And then skip through to the bank number. One, two, three. And if I skip forwards then to this, which is the big blank space, that's the category. So you can skip through various different categories. Uh, the blank one there. There we go, text to the default. I've saved this in my user bank. I just want to show you how to do that though. So there you go. So we've got um, MP7 is uh, preset number 127, bank three. On the XROM, it's uh, 127, bank three. On the PROM, 127, uh, bank three. So I assume it's the same for all of them, uh, all the... Uh, the ROMs but I've only tried those three uh, so what we're going to do now is to start a new voice I'll use the default which is a blank uh, canvas if you will to play with uh, and I'm going to uh, save copy to uh, oh we want to save the pattern right that's because here I've got pattern selected not preset so I'll go to preset go to edit preset my apologies and then save copy and it will save preset to user and then a, a bank number so I've gone with the cursor down to the number here and you can choose wherever you want so we can put it up there 41 that's uh, a free voice for me so then I press home and the presets then save to there so that's a default preset so at the moment we'll just turn the volume up and we're here me tapping on the pads but no actual sound so uh, I'll go to preset edit and we'll find out why hopefully uh, using the, the data wheels next one from preset name will skip us to instrument so each preset can have four instrument layers uh, if I've got the uh, mp7 for example layer one has got no instrument there. You can skip through layers using the track or channel buttons. So two, three, and four all have no instrument there at all. And if you've enabled it in the uh, global menu, you can do what's called an LA, which is all layers to edit. Oops. <laughs> uh, so you can edit all layers at the same time. So that's what I'll do. I'll go to... Um, 
MP7, uh, instrument number one is bass, the deepest. Now, I might not want to use that. Uh, that's the sound it makes. So I want, I want to skip through some uh, different instruments. Instruments are different to presets. Instruments are one of the four um, instruments you can have in a preset. So this is um, layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, all those, that's a preset with all the other settings. Yeah? Um, layer two is the change to the same because I changed it on layer all in the corner there. So if I change that down to none, go to layer one, choose the first instrument, If I then go to layer two using the track channel button, I've got no instrument there. So again, I can select the deepest one more time. Uh, layer three, different instrument again. And layer four, instrument again. So now we've got four layers of four instruments four layers with four instruments one in each one did that make sense um and you could then play around with that change lots of different instruments and elements and types um i'm going to go back to layer all and choose zero. Oh, by the way uh you might have seen it flashing there and what that means is uh, layer one has got an instrument there that's different to two, three, and four. So if you go to layer all and it's flashing, it means one of the layers has a different setting to the other layers, or a number of layers have different settings. It's just a handy way to know if you've altered something on one layer, uh, and, and say uh, lay, layer three and layer four aren't there, and you've altered one and two, it'll flash. Okay, that's just for you to know. Now, uh, go back to layer one. This is the category here, so you've got uh, an instrument number and a category. So you can flick through the categories, uh, bell. Yeah, and you'll notice the instrument numbers jumped up quite a bit. Uh, and that'll do, it'll go all the way through these, these, these various different ones. You can have an explorer of all those. I'm looking specifically for the uh, wave on, on the um, MP7. Um, sound rom so the wave sinusoid which is like a your standard uh, simple wave uh, that's only on the mp7 however you can do this with any waveform you want we'll, we'll, we'll perhaps show you that later um, so then you can choose in the wave category you've got individual uh, instrument noises there. So, so wave sinusoid is. So it's just a sine wave. Yep. So if we go to sawtooth. Yep. Um, and then what we could do is here we could set all of the layers to be the sawtooth wave. If I go down here, layer all, and just move that once and then back. Now all layers have got sawtooth wave. And there's already a little bit of a difference in terms of the noise. I assume that's because some of the layers have different settings, which we will see shortly. Once you've ch chosen your wave, um, we'll go back to instrument now. Uh, move forward in the menu. We've got key. Because we're on uh, layer all, LA, if any of the other layers are different, it'll flash and just let me know. So all velocities are the same. We're just looking now for any differences. First of all, and it looks like at the moment, there's not much in the way of differences. 
Right, every single step here can be different for each uh, layer in a preset. And that can make it rather exciting to make sounds. Uh, with exactly the same wave in on all of the layers. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, if we then go to... There we go, transpose. We can play like a, a chord. So layer one is the note you play. So middle C or whatever. Uh, layer two, we could transpose that up by three semitones. Yeah. Uh, layer three, we could go to five. And layer four, we could go to seven. Obviously, that's polyphonic as well. That sounds terrible. Or oh, wonderful, depending if you like it or not. Because then you actually play... <laughs> instead of just playing two notes when you press two, you're playing all eight notes, if you understand that. Because each layer is uh, pitched slightly differently. Uh, so you'll get different... Um, things are going on. So it's like playing a chord when you press one. Yeah. Um, so I'll leave that as that is. Um, and then we'll move to the next selection. So we'll go from transpose, we'll move forward. Uh, and then this tuning. So now we can go to course and fine tuning of the note. So if I just step back actually, go to layer all. And change it's flashing because they're all different. Change it back to all the same uh, note, and then we'll go through to tune. So if you've done anything with uh, the super saw type noise, you you you'll get this. You can change the layers individually. Leave layer one as, as zero, if you will. So we've got. semitones um, so you can do it that way and you can do that for every layer or um, you can make a more subtle adjustment on the fine tuning so down at three layer three we can take up to six listening to the phasing in and out of those so that's four independent uh, waveforms all working at the same time at slightly different rates coming um, back into phase and going out of phase and into phase and out of phase um, and it just gives that movement sound without altering any parameters here so far uh, so I'll leave those like that slightly fine-tuned now and then you can um, change the amplification or pan so we'll leave the same volumes but I'll just change pan I'll, I'll take that over to the right by say 25 go down to layer 3 take that over right slightly layer 2 go left with it and then we've got So if layer three, we just take a little bit more right. Because I was on the left with that one, it was like 12. Uh, and layer two is right. And then layer one will take there. So I love that noise. Uh, we'll go uh, transpose it down an octave. So 
so you can hear that movement you've got in the uh, in the voice love that uh, so we'll leave that there because that sounds quite nice to my ears anyway uh, i hope you got headphones on by the way um right so then we've got lots of different controls of that uh shape of the the sound you know uh, the volume envelope for example the how fast it, it comes to loud goes quiet again how long it sustains for and when you let go of the release yeah so we, we can alter that and it can either be time based in other words it can apply over a period of time or you can set it to tempo based and that's the same uh, for all the layers can be different so you can have layer one tempo based layer two time based layer three uh, could be tempo based and layer four time based um, so we'll have that and then we, we alter then the um, envelope here so you could have uh, let's just see what I altered there which is time based tempo based right so if I go to layer four, attack, because you've got, I'm still learning this myself, but it's got an attack volume envelope. It's got attack one, two, decay one and two, release one and two, um, and you've got rate and level as well. So um, if we go to attack one uh, and put a rate of, um, say, 20 in and layer that's layer four. In fact, layer four will put us 40. Uh, layer three will drop down to 30. Uh, no, I can't because this, this is where it, <laughs> this is where uh, I, I'm still learning. Um, the rate amount, if it's tempo based, you alter it according to the tempo. Yeah, so you can go 64th or whatever. Uh, if it's time based, then you can alter um, in the other way. So we'll leave that there, we'll leave that too. So rate there, uh, we'll leave that at 20, say, uh, and that will have a, that. And just have a see if there's any difference at all in the sound. Now, if I'm not sure, what I can do is if I press compare, I believe. Ah, it's comparing it to the original sound. So I'd have to save the sound before altering these to find out. So maybe we should do that. Uh, so that got down to zero, that to zero, that to zero. Right, so let's say I've got so far and I think, hmm, I'll save it. Right, I'm going to save it to the next voice along, 42. That's in the user bank which is where it'll always save stuff and that uh, LED or LED uh, hopeless uh, that is uh, a preset voice I've not altered that at all so I can comfortably save over that press home enter to save done right so it might be worth just changing that name as well so if I go to the preset um, and change the name um, I usually change it and I put something like, um, where is it there, that exclamation mark and put my, and so, just so that I know that I've done something with it. So my default, yeah, save it to the same place i still have to move the cursor down though so it's still going to there and it's just changing the name to my default so from uh sorry the preset i got confused i was doing the edit uh, from the view to view the preset uh, 42 my default that was the original so the original one no sound this one now right so then if we're going to Edit that preset. Go back to where we were, which um, was here. Volume envelope, time based, tempo, time, tempo. So that's still changed. And then change these. So uh, attack one, 
is fine. I'll leave that, but two we're going to take up to like 30 ish. Uh, three will take up to a 30 second, four will take up to 68, 60 ish. Well, let's compare. I haven't done this. Uh, take the level up to, let's take it up to 67. Uh, take that level. So you can hear, there's, hopefully you can hear the difference there. Take it up an octave. Compare. Yeah, uh, and then we go to attack two. Uh, level one, keep it at 100%. Uh, level two, we'll change the rate, uh, have it really slow, up to 100%. Level three. And level four, and then listen to it. Compare. So you can hear on, on the original voice before I started altering the, the attack rates. Immediately it works straight away. The voice comes in, bang, just goes up straight away. Whereas on the one that I'm working on now, there's that slight uh, slowing down, so it curves up slightly, just goes up slowly or slower. Um, and that's what we're after. We start to shape the sound really. Uh, and there's also, um, if we go through now to uh, the decay, uh, we can have the decay rates so that. Uh, one's really slow, um, that's quite quickly, that's reasonable, we'll have that zero, so, so that's sustain, oh, decay two we don't need necessarily to do, release rate where are we now a oh, one release rate uh, to level so we can put that at 45 attack okay release would that not be a stuck note that so I'm going to press home and enter that uh, the home and enter with the MIDI is like a, a MIDI panic button it kills the MIDI notes so we'll try that again just to see what the sound is like so there's just layer one continues when you let go of the note let's drop it lower so while I hold it is a bit a little bit slower um, so I can go to release for layer two layer three uh, could have a, a longer release time so that's still dropping off to level zero so we could leave that there yeah. 
four. I'm going to reselect. And we'll keep that there. I go up. So now we've got all of the voices are going and extending a little bit. Whereas previously. So there we go. You might already know all these things. I don't know. I'm, I'm just exploring how this particular device deals with sound. And that's part of the um, way it deals with sound. It's, it's got um, uh, two stages of attack, two stages of decay and release um, and sustain. So it is able to um, be edited uh, to make it do what you want it to do the voice uh, chorus you can put on for each layer um, or you can put it on for all of it so we'll have a listen to what that sounds like uh, I'll save a copy of the voice first to 43 right so this that now is my default I've still got fourth dear hang on a second did the same thing again go to preset I've still got uh, 41 is the blank 42 is the one that is immediate attack immediate decay and this is 43 the one I've just edited so uh, we can then work towards uh, sculpting the sound further but be able to compare as I start editing this one I can compare it to what it sounds like with or without various things like chorus for example Okay, so I couldn't hear that. So let's try the width. Let's try a bit more. So I can hear they're phasing in and out slightly. Let's just take it up to a bit of an extreme level. to play around with the voices once I've done something um, just go all over the place in terms of listening to what's happening to the sound as it moves and transitions <laughs> and I like to change the um, pitch and just see how the thing I've done affects how it sounds at pitch differences So uh, just as a side note, uh, my um, effects section on this doesn't uh, work right. There's a problem with the RAM. It failed the RAM test when I did the, the test on it. Uh, so I can't use like delay, reverb, etc. in the unit. I have to do that outside if, if I can with uh, another device. Or you can get sort of some kind of effects with some of the ways that you program the voices so there's a little bit of like delay and panning going on there in the background to my ears Can do that as well but just as a side thing if i had a proper keyboard i'd be able to do it on that but this has only got the one section of the keyboard here but you can hold notes cross transposition if that's a thing uh, so i can hold the note here and then i can go up uh, by transposing and hold up here Anyway, that's getting off track a little. Uh, however, um, 
moving on swiftly um chorus so you can have different kinds of amounts sorry uh, of chorus on each layer uh, so you can see how that affects the sound um, if you increase or decrease width you're going to get more or less in terms of movement left to right panning etc in the chorus uh, timbre is that a word um, so then we have this little icky on the ears but still freshens the palate so something's going on interesting there sometimes different uh, pitches uh, give different um, phases of the waveforms as they fiddle around. Um, so my head's bursting with the depths. In my mind, all these little prompts are coming up thinking, oh, you can do that, you can do that. And I'm trying to stay fairly focused. Um, so let's go to leave that as it is. And let's go something else I didn't mention. Rather than skipping through all these different sections and having to move from the value line to go back up to move to the next section. You can also use these shortcuts here. Um, whilst you're editing in a preset, you can go to like their solo glides, the next section. And, and this is basically uh, a quick way around. So you go to the filter, go back here, go to back to the name. Uh, and there's the chorus and delay thing. And as soon as you press it, it, it moves up the cursor to the top row for you. So then you can skip through. So you're onto solo mode there, skip it one back, um, and from chorus, something that we need to, well, I'd like to look at, um, although this video is already half an hour long, um, is the next section is, is, is the sound start and delay. And, and this is, this is quite an interesting, um, this is quite an interesting one for me anyway. Um, so, uh, let's take it down to layer one, uh, and I'll just go to start here. And let's see if we can hear any difference. It does depend on the instruments you've selected, the uh, envelopes that you put on them. They all interplay all these different ways you can interact with the sounds, create the presets from the instruments. They all interact with these different variables. So sometimes if you can't quite get the sound you want, sometimes starting blank building the foundation on the instruments at the beginning, the four instruments. So you might only need two or even one, which I'll do in a later video, perhaps do a single instrument uh, on a preset and then a twin instrument preset and stuff like that. Um, though, though, those interactions can often change totally the way that the thing sounds, especially with the filters on this thing. It's got amazing filters. Uh, I'm nowhere near that yet. Well, <laughs> a couple of clicks away, not see. But we're not going there. Um, right, so sound start. Let's have a see if it does alter. And let's put a delay on it. See, it probably, thinking about it, see, I'm just going to think what, what it's doing when it sounds start. Uh, it's, it's, it's like the sinusoidal waveform you're using, or the saw waveform you're using, or the uh, violin waveform you're using whatever it is as the wave is there or our saw will be like this like a triangle thing the start depends on whereabouts in that waveform the sound starts playing from so I'll, I'll need to use a different waveform to use the start there I think uh, so we'll go to zero on that one uh, because a sinusoidal or a repeating waveform like the uh, saw it's hard to hear where the start change is anyway uh, I have to look at that later delay let's let's do a delay thing going on yeah so let, let's put a delay on uh, and let's put a, a diminishing delay uh, on each layer And then no delay on le layer four. So hopefully you heard the, the the steps that happened with the sound there. 
So basically for this one, layer four, three, two, one. Yeah, so layer four starts, layer three's got a delay, then it starts there. Layer two has got a delay, so it doesn't start till there. Layer one's not starting to right at the end here. So you can alter when the sounds come in. Um, so if we drop that down a bit uh, and drop that down a bit. So that affects how the sound is. Added to the fact that we've already got a uh, envelope for the, um, the sound. So if we now do the delays the other way around, no delay. In fact, uh, let me not talk about that for a second. Uh, no delay at all for the first sound. Or I can get to two, one, zero. Yeah. Uh, layer two will delay it a little while uh, until the key comes up. So we've got. I don't know if you can hear in the background the little zoom that goes to the right hand side that's layer two uh, so if we do the same for layer uh, skip right past it then there we go stop note probably press something but again it's an old machine so sometimes it happens so we've got a key up going on there so we'll change that because that seems to be causing a problem and I don't know why this is my lack of understanding here so um, let's do this so you can hear the delay there can't you um, Let's take it up for a longer delay. So you can do things with. <laughs> you can do things. Make stuff happen when you want it to happen. Um, yeah, so if I go to, let's just get to this. If I want to set all these delays to zero, just to remind you and to remind myself, if I go to layer all, layer all. Yeah, uh, so that'll change it for all layers. Okay, so uh, non-transpose, basically, if I, I'll do it for layer two. If I put that to on, then we get this effect. So you get layer two isn't moving in terms of notes. It's staying where it is, yeah? Uh, so obviously if you do that for all the other layers, you only get one of the layers moving. shift uh, so there's no transposition going on um, so we'll take that off take that off uh, solo mode if you want to hear the individual layers so that's all the layers um, no it's not that's ah that's in uh, that's in another menu. This one is when you are playing the instrument, there's different ways for the keyboard to respond. My apologies. Um, I'm not going to go into that for a moment though. Um, you can assign, which I don't understand. 
moving on <laughs> glide rates you can have the glide rates uh, they're quite fun you know if you have like um, where are we no I'm pressing the wrong button I'm pressing that to move the cursor uh, glide rates so layer one glide rate so if I take the glide rate up reasonably high <laughs> the um what's it called um the rank cinema thing you know uh so you, you could be you could be like you know yes. anyway uh, so you can do that uh, and you can have it exponential as well um which is uh different rates basically so you can have a play with that uh, see if you like it you can go quite a long way of course you don't need to uh, have the same setting for each layer uh, you can you know really mix it up So you can, yes, definitely. Uh, let's take it down to zero. 30 seconds, I think, is the longest-ish. Um. So we're back to that sound again. Um, filters. Yes, uh, I'm going to stop the video here because filters is ours on its own uh, so i hope you enjoyed so far uh we've just gone through basic um setup of a basic voice and basic 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 settings in the voice uh, this will be one of many hopefully eventually and i uh, hope you've had a good day enjoy uh, tell me if you liked didn't like etc subscribe blah 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 see you soon bye